you know, this show has a bit of a slow burn in the beginning, right? Like, it's only episode 4. It's 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 ep not only. It's episode 14. But finally, we're getting to some of the, the juicy shit, right? Everything before was kind of world building, setup, slow dialogue, slow burn. But this is one of a pretty high bark. And last episode, the kitchens were going crazy. Benny Maru, bro. Benny's too fucking OP. Bro was blowing people off with, I think, Hellflame. I'm not sure if it's called Hellflame just yet. But there's like a distinct sound when he uses that skill. And basically a huge fucking like explosion happens i think that's one of the cool skills soy john smith super cool fucking shield with the buster sword also amazing and then i think to myself what the fuck is that kurabe guy doing kurabe was it technically I, I was shitting on him a little bit too much last time and people were like no bro kurabe is with kaijin making these special weapons for the kijins you're not giving enough respect to kurabe and you know what you're kind of right what the fuck is Shuna doing then, huh? What the fuck does she have an excuse for Itzel, right? Because Gata is tearing everybody. And Ranga also evolved into like a super, like a star wolf or some shit. Like it's a like Tempest star wolf. Now, we only have Gilb left to take out. And Rimuru is just basically floating in the air and thinking, holy shit, this is a bit too easy. Maybe I was going a bit too hard. And now I think he's just going to fucking destroy him so fast. Hopefully it's not too quick. Let's begin today's reaction though. The one who devours all. Rimuru? The fuck? What is this? Oh, it's Gelmude. Yo, that entrance is kind of sick. I keep making the mistake. He's not a demon lord. I just heard Mao for some reason. No, he's a Majin. Basically like a demon general. Yeah, Majin. Does that mean he's an elf, Majin? Because his ears are like pointy? I thought you're Gelmude. Is he referring to himself as... <laughs> is he referring to him as himself? But did you hear that there? The great sage is like... Uh, yes. <laughs> the great sage has some great lines, dude. Hmm. Because he himself can't become like a demon lord, so he wants to try other potential recruits to like become a demon lord for him, so that then he can like flex his like pawns to like claim it and shit. Is that his plan? That's why they took out the orc village. That's right. The ogre village, sorry. Did you not just hear the ogres have a dramatic fucking encounter? Saying that this is why you did this to our village. And Gabi was like, oh, Gelmute-sama, you're back. How you doing? Like, even at this point of the game, when we saved his fucking ass over and over, he still managed to be a fucking idiot. Like, oh my God, the lack of awareness, dude. <laughs> Don't say Gabi the Demon Lord candidate, no! Could, could you imagine? Mao Gabi the Kakoi Gabi the Sama! Yes, shit on him! Yes, shit on him! Yo, the Orc Lord should eat him! Orc Lord should eat Gelmude, man! Was Geld always this big? Or did he shrink afterwards? What the fuck? Did he just grow in size? What is this? Holy shit. Yo, eat him. Eat Gelmude. Eat him. This is both what he and I. Who is he at this point? Gelmiud probably serves someone else. Is it Clayman? Is it just straight up Clayman? Are you sure you should be insulting this guy in front? No! No! The idiot trio from the fandom? Gabiru's fan club just took that hit from Gelmude? That's pretty impressive. That's mad. I mean, as, as much as I shit on Gabiru and his, like, fucking fandom, his fan club, 
the way that he treats the fan club is very wholesome. Like, he was truly just protecting them last episode, too. And even now, they were willing to fucking sacrifice themselves for, so for Gabiru Sama, but holy shit, they just took an attack from them directly on. Damn! Are they dead? I like them a lot. They're great. They're not dead. Just pour some potion on them, man. Oh, wait, wait. Why are you still calling him Sama? Oh, Desmachi Dance! Easy. And now we're gonna copy and spit it back at them, right? I can't believe he's still calling him Gilmi Sama, man. The true leader has arrived. What did he just say? Is that the best you can do? The disrespect! The true leader. That's right. Here's some potions for you. What is that? You just fucking push it on them? And he's done. That was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Come on, I... Me too, I actually do like Gabiru. He's a fucking idiot, though. Ooh. Ooh. Bare fist, yeah? Oh. Yeah, and he keeps saying superior Majin, man. He still doesn't know. We're gonna join your side? Okay, what are you gonna do? Because he probably thinks that it could relate back to like Leon, right? But it's at the end of the day, probably Clayman. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Bonk him. Eat him. Eat him. <laughs> Eat him. <laughs> no, he just becomes one of our strongest soldiers. Bro, he keeps insulting you! Eat him! Like... <laughs> Why did he turn around there? I feel like this is what fuck Eddie thought, but okay. The most, like, common cliche in, like, anime or just, like, um... Different, like, movies, just media is that a weaker person will try to summon or create, like, a stronger monster and they'll be like, oh, the world will fear me now. Do you know who dies first? Do you know who the monster's first kill is? It's always a person that they summoned, right? So, like, right now, wouldn't it be so poetic if he just fucking eats him or just cleaves him in half? Yeah! Yeah! Yeet! Fuck you. What the fuck? Is this is Chinese censorship, though. <laughs> the blood is fucking just white. Sometimes the censorship kind of makes sense, but sometimes when it's, like, a girl and there's, like, heavy violence and there's blood all over them, but it's just white instead, it's just, like, that's a totally different type of problem you just created, China. Get fucked, superior Majin. Dude, Rimuru is not phased at all. He's like, oh. I see. Oh, he gonna drink that goo. How do we even, like, purify him and solve his, like, hunger? Ain't no way you said, yeah, to Gil. Sorry, Gil there, bending over. Is this our first... Hey, what's up, Night Void? Is this our first fucking demon lord? Evolving in season one, so like, get, I, I, isn't there like an intricate process in becoming a demon lord, right? Because like in season two, Rimuru does become one, but there's like a whole different things that you have to do. Right now, bro just got on the fucking ground and just drank some fucking Majin blood, and he's just good to go. Y yeah. <laughs> so I mean, so what though? Are we scared of this? No. Yeah, and you're gonna serve me soon. How do we even take him out and res like resolve his hunger? Do we just eat him? Oh, let's go, Shion! <laughs> they don't need to do this. The Kijin's going in here has no fucking purpose other than to kind of hype up the Demon Lord, right? So, like, sir, the Kijin's can go in and it'll be some extra hype because if Rimuru fought right now, it'd be over immediately. But if they kind of go in and kind of put up a good fight and lose, then it kind of hypes up Guild, you know? <laughs> they didn't have to do this, but this episode, you know, they have to pattern the time for this episode. So, all right, let's go, Shion! <laughs> Oh, Hakuro, let's go! 
Hakuro has some of the coolest fucking animations, bro. Some all his movements, all his skills are so sick. Did you see this? There's an in, there's like a frame. We can see that's a red fucking light here, right? Look at this. This shows up out of fucking nowhere. And red light. Where is it? Oh, ho, 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 dude. <laughs> Shit like this is so fun. <laughs> Shit. So cool. But you can just re reattach the head. Yeah. You're just gonna let him just fucking regenerate? You're gonna sit there? All right. Oh, so way. Oh. Yo, that's a lot of threats. Arcane threat fetters, a name technique. Help him within. Combo attack. See, did you hear that? There's always that distinctive like sound effect whenever he uses Hell Flame. It's I don't know how to explain it, but it sounds really cool. That sound. It's like a deep bass, you know. You hear that, right? Oh, that's right, Star Wolf Ranga. He's been no. He already carried last episode. That's why he can't use full power. That's fine. Nah, he's too much of a tank, man. Uh-oh. Why, why? So this is pain, he says, as he gets up with the boss theme fucking playing. <laughs> Holy shit, just eat me? Really? <laughs> Indeed. Oh. Yo, at least he went head first there, right? That was a fucking... I, I'd, I'd like to think that the chomp onto his head was like a swift death. Because if he started from the feet up, oh my god. Like I said, imagine getting eaten out alive, starting from the ground up. Oh, oh my god, dude, kill me. Ooh. No, Rimuru absorbed it. Okay, okay, okay. What is that skill? What is Rimuru doing? He just fucking... That is Devourer, right? It, it's just Devourer, but... It, the, you know, it, it's like sucking it in. I don't know. It's maybe Devourer plus... Is that Predator? Pre isn't Devourer and Predator the same thing? Is Devourer something different? Isn't that... The, uh, you know, he got the suction. He, he, he sucks, and he gets the powers back, right? Is Devourer and Predator separate? Bro, Rimuru just said, I don't want to do my homework. Chat GPT, fucking do it for me. Auto battle mode. All right, going full mobile game. Just auto battle. Times two speed. Ooh, Chaos Eater. The boss thing playing right now is really epic though, yeah? Should be able to cut through it, right? Yeah. Dude, the sword fucking melted because this is supposed to be like a uh, hell flame, right? Or sorry, this is black flame. Hell flame is Benny skill. Black flame is our like basically like Amaterasu where it's just like a flame that can't be quenched and just devours everything. It doesn't go out, right? Yeah. Bro had to fucking amputate his arm because the flames wouldn't go out. Dude, that's so dangerous. My lord. <laughs> My lord. Regeneration OP. Just suck it. Easy. No, you won't. Free power or Shizu power? Same thing, kind of, right? Wait. <laughs> Bro has flame resistance too. He actually just learned it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Great Sage actually felt bad there. She was like, oh. 
She's like, I'll take over. It's like, you know, you're benched now. <gasps> oh. You know how you beat him? You just fucking devour him. Like, don't we do the same shit to everybody? We fucking swallow Veltro. We fucking swallowed Ifrit. Why can't we just swallow Geld too? Except he doesn't get swallowed at the end, right? Because we kind of have to spit him back out. He he just joins our, you know, our, our, our fucking... Our team. You can see Great Sage pouting. Wouldn't it be cool if someone actually had like a drawing of what the Great Sage kind of looks like? It's just a waifu pouting. Aibo. Yep. Partner. <laughs> What's a fate worse than burning to death? Oh. <laughs> Yes. In fact, I wonder what percentage of his powers he's even using right now. Oh, ew. <laughs> See, just wrap around him and just eat him. <laughs> Blob. That's right. He's a slime. Just eat him. Like, this is the most poetic way of ending this, right? Because this Gel, the Demon Lord, the Orc Disaster Gel, is someone that has insatiable hunger. He just needs to keep devouring. But what's a more poetic ending to this character other than someone else devouring him, you know? Devour his hunger. Oh? The gas is like what poison? What are the Kijins thinking right now? They're probably thinking, yeah, we can't leave Rumuru after this. We just gotta fucking join us. Like this guy is gonna be the king. Predator. Not devour, predator. Oh, Gabiru? Goblin Riders! I'm a devourer. So that was still predator. But I'm a. This is devour. But I'm a, I'm a predator. But but devourer is like a person that devours. That's different from the skill devour, which might not actually be a skill. It's something I'm just kind of getting mixed up with the skill predator. But we know for a fact predator is a skill. Oh oh, Gale backstory. Gail, the backstory? Uh-oh! Ah, oh, shit. It's gonna make me feel bad, man. Oh. He always had instant regeneration. So he would cut his own arm off for the kids to eat? Holy fuck. Oh my god. You could've fucking given me your booty cheeks instead. That would've been good bacon. You're gonna give me your fucking arm instead? Just cut your fucking cheeks off. Let me fry that. That'd be some good bacon, man. It gives you a fucking dirty ass fucking fingernails and shit. Ew. Ew. Look at that gat. Look at, look at all that junk behind, bro. Oh my god, dude. Now it's like it's just like humanizing like the orcs, you know. So far they've been they've been like kind of branded as fucking disgusting pigs, but goddamn, this flashback has suddenly changed my opinion. All because we just don't have a good irrigation or farming system. They need to join us, man. And during his walk there, he probably passed out, right? Oh, is this Rimuru? Okay, this is Rimuru just like going through the memories of Geld right now, I think, yeah. And then he meets Gelmude. Yeah, this is the exact intro scene when we began this arc. Gelmude shows up. Okay, daddy. Dude, he's such a mob character at the end of the day. What did you just say? Anyone you eat doesn't die? Anyone you eat as the Orc Lord doesn't die. How? For you, hey, un under the being under the control, I, I, my brain is not processing this. 
Get no shit, dude. I mean, Geld had no choice but to take it as the king, but... <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. You... The orcs are just fucking suffering too. I feel bad. They have a lot of motivations to win. Rimuna's new slime form like this is kind of cool. Looks like a Lugia. Then join us. Don't die. Damn. I don't remember this monologue between these two being so good. This little dialogue. I bet in the light novel it's even better. Nah, don't worry. We killed Ranga's dad and he's cool with it. Nah, don't worry. Benny and them are probably not going to be that mad at you. Greedy devourer. Oh, look at this imagery. The desert... It's suddenly all plentiful with wildlife growth. Geld back. Oh, What a wholesome ending to be. <laughs> he still calls us greedy one. Alright, rip Geld. Geld is dead, guys. Geld's dead. Salute, Geld. I've only known you for like five episodes. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, so this is everything that it took to fucking devour Geld? Wow. Because, like, before we saw him, just little specks of slimes, you know, just kind of, like, forming over Geld. But at the end, it just turned into this tower of slime? Holy shit. Wait, what, what is this? Yeah, what is this fucking... <laughs> look, 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 look. And it's daylight, right? It was all fucking night. So they just basically just watched their lord, Rimuru, just turn into a giant fucking, you know... You know what this is. I can't say because it might get demonetized, but goddamn, dude. Alright, cool. I wonder what she wants thinking. Hmm, I wonder what she wants thinking. Geld is dead! Geld is actually dead! Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. But, but Geld joins us. Wait, what? No, Gale, Gale joint. No? No. Does he? Uh, is the Gale that I know in season late, later a different fucking orc that picks up his name? Wait, wait, wait. She owns what the fucking, you know, Monica pose just breaking her fucking back. Just like, oh. All right, Shion, I see you. Look at Gopta right there. Gopta's about to do a fucking victory jump. Let's go, Gopta. He's dead. <laughs> Yo, is he okay? Yeah, I guess so. Nah, they're not leaving. They're like, you're too strong. Let's stay forever. <laughs> and they do this without asking Shuna or Kurobe. Not that they really matter, right? I mean, Benny's words are pretty much like the rule, right? Because he's like the crown prince. Oh my goodness! I think they got even bigger. I think they got even bigger, dude. The, the, our pillows, our fucking resting place got even bigger, dude. You're our walking uh, comfort. What about Geld? Ge <laughs> All right. I, I guess uh, we'll figure out what happened to Geld next episode. Or maybe he's actually really done. No, he, he's, he, he exists, but he's not. All right, whatever. We'll figure it out next episode. But this is the end. This is the end of probably the best arc of this initial, the early game, right? Because it's all about, you know, coming out of the the, the cave where Velder was sealed. Now everyone's like, oh my God, the, the storm dragon has kind of disappeared, but we can feel this presence of the slime. And now the slime is just like uniting all these different monsters in this forest. And you got the, the goblins first, right? We got the dire wolves. Then we got the fucking, what's it called? We got the lizardmen, orcs, and the ogres all coming at the same time. And now this is the end of the, probably the best arc. I think, I don't remember the Geld versus Rimuru being this sentimental. This like little flashback scene where they're just kind of talking and how Geld truly was caring for his like people. 
it was very sentimental. I think the soundtrack really carried at the end. I'm like, you guys are all saying Rip Gale, Rip Gale. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Gale exists in the anime, but then he's just God. <laughs> They're like, my lord. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe I'm just schizo, bro. Maybe I'm just absolutely crazy. But yes, the Shion thumbnail, absolutely, this will be the thumbnail for this video. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.